We needed a CAD RMS system that complied with the university's policies in addition to all of the FBI policies because we do receive criminal history and all the information through NCIC. So one solution was one of the products, one of the few products that was able to meet that high encryption standard. Being able to look at crime trends immediately um, over the last week or month or even year as compared to what we've seen over the last five or ten years is important as well for us to be able to continually adapt to best serve the public and best provide police services. Even though we're going to an improved system with a lot more capability, a lot more functionality, we knew that we would have employees who had been on duty for many, many years who were going to be resistant, reluctant to uh, move into that. The big majority got behind it and have done quite well in assimilating into the new system. What we also found out was that the younger officers, the younger employees who basically grew up with the internet in their hip pocket, really adapted to it quickly and easily. And it's been, just for them, it's been a phenomenal performer. We have a couple officers that absolutely love it, uh, that have been here many, many years, because they really appreciate the ability to use MCT MFR out in the field to do their field contacts and to start their reports. It saves them the time from having to come back to the police station. When the radio operators get the information and put it in the call, it saves the officers from having to do that because it populates automatically on their screen. When the officers then complete their reports and submit them for approval and moving it on through the system into the records management side, it saves the records uh, clerks a lot of time as well from not having to, again, enter that same information. The opportunity is it's endless on what statistical analysis I can do based on all of the information that's available in the database. When I'm going to a call, I can look up call history on an address, say, okay, well, we've responded here four times in the last two years for burglaries or persons with mental illness or something like that. And that helps me prepare a little bit more about going into a situation, having that background information, which is great for me as an officer because it helps keep me safer. The concept of communicating, of course, in public safety and police work is, yeah, I mean, it's just essential that we have clear communication, that it's efficient, that it's effective, so that means it's got to be quick, it's got to be real time. That is one of the components that moving to our CAD and the RMS that we've really seen some benefits from.